don't know if easier is the right word, but how much easier is it to prepare for Hogan, or at least get a, a scout on Hogan this year compared to last year, given that he only had the one start, the clear start coming into that game last year? Um, just planning before, uh, planning last year. I, I feel like our secondary and, and the rest of our defense like have a familiar like what what he's capable of. Um, he's a hard runner. He's a uh, he can hurt you in many different ways. He's a, he's a smart young quarterback that really progressed over over the year. So we're gonna be ready, but I know he's gonna be ready too. Pico was just saying that uh, you guys maybe weren't completely ready for how uh, completely ready for his ability to run the football last year. Now you guys be much more prepared. Do you think that's a fair assessment? Oh uh, yeah, coming in last year. We only had one game or so to watch him, and we didn't know what type of running he was. But like, obviously, him playing over this year and the rest of last year, and what he did against us, he's able to make a, make a couple guys miss. And uh, he's a hard runner as a quarterback, so yeah, we'd be ready. On that Zachary's touchdown, that sort of <laughs> you, you were right near where that happened, waving incomplete. Yeah. Happened. How much did that play kind of stick with you, maybe in the offseason, especially when you look back on the year and realize that you were that one game away from being a national championship game? Does that come back to, in your memory at times in the offseason? I mean, every game in the past, especially what would have been last year, it's in the past, but knowing that like as a secondary, we don't want to be put in a, a predicament like that. So we just want to be able to clamp down and, and not put ourselves in a, uh, a predicament where we have to live it up to him being out or incomplete or as a catch. So it, 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 stick, it, it definitely stick with you. It make you work harder to not be in a predicament like that. You think you caught it? Honestly, I feel like his shoulder is down, but I'm just a player. I'm playing. Uh, is there, their offense seems a little different this year, too. Not using the tight ends quite as much. Obviously, if they lose Ertz and some yeah. other guys. How does their offense change? As um, far as what I can see, it changes more just with the receivers. They have more receivers that is able to downfield threats and can run routes more than like Zach was kind of a receiver. Slash tight end, like so he did everything for him. But what Montgomery and other receivers they have is like they have more threats at, at the receiver spot. It was weird seeing a Stanford team that has those kind of skilled players on the, on the outside like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little. They they throw the ball a little more. Uh, but at the end of the day, we know they like to run the ball, and as defense, we got to defend everything they're ready to throw at us. I know this won't change your preparation, you guys. Do that face this opponent mantra and everything, but is there a chip on your shoulder given that this is the only team that's really beaten you guys in the last two years? Um, honestly, I would say yeah, but as far as the defense, I, th I feel like the defense always play with, play with a chip on our shoulder just because we're kind of like overlooked, but like it don't bother us. It's just know we have to go out there and be able to perform.